Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on this summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it out in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I called it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 65 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this eighth episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of Gabon and Transnistria. Today I'm cooking baked bananas Gabon. Gabon is situated in Africa's Congo Basin. It was occupied by France from 1885 to 1960, and so the food has elements of both African and French cuisine. I couldn't find any restaurants offering food from this country in the Washington area, so I'm preparing a dish based on a recipe I found online. I got my bananas cut up, so now I'm going to bread them with breadcrumbs and egg and orange juice. The equator goes right through Gabon, and as you would imagine, there are a lot of tropical fruits used in Gabonese cuisine, bananas being just one of them. So I said baked, but there's a frying pan. So first we fry them in uh, vegetable oil, and then uh, they're baked at the end. I've never been to Gabon yet, but I hope to have a chance to visit someday. If I do, I'd like to see the Lope National Park, located on the edge of the Congo rainforest. Gabon's forests are home to 80% of the world's wild gorillas. Now my kitchen is smelling really good. Now I'll put the bananas in the oven, which I've already preheated to 350. One, two, three, four, five. And we're almost done. And that was actually five minutes, not five seconds. First, I top each one of the slices with sour cream. You've got to do this while the bananas are hot to make sure the sour cream thins out. Some of the Rolling Stones' favorite ingredient. The final ingredient, brown sugar on top. I packed most of them to bring to the office for a sweet lunch, but I've got to try some while they're hot. I'll be imposing a strict limit of one banana per person. It's really interesting with the sour cream. I wouldn't expect that to be good with the dessert, but it is. It's probably use a little more brown sugar though. Today I'm at the Marivana restaurant in DuPont Circle and I'm going to sample some food uh, that's commonly eaten in Transnistria. If you've never heard of Transnistria, you're not alone. Transnistria is a tiny breakaway republic that declared its independence from the Moldovan Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic in 1990. Moldova then declared its independence from the USSR in 1991. As only the latter transaction is recognized by Moldova, Transnistria is referred to as a frozen conflict zone. The dish is called Solyanka. Za Transnistriu. Solyanka is popular in many of the former Soviet republics. I prefer to stay away from olives and this soup was loaded with them, but to my delight, the other flavors balanced out the dish quite well. The atmosphere is really nice in here, too. I think I may have discovered a new hangout. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from the islands of Melanesia and more from Eastern Europe. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page, or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring.